Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Master Duel video. Yay! What are we doing in Master Duel? Well, I'm still waiting for Sprite and Tears to come out, and still dealing with the fact that we are still living in a pretty branded, focused uh, meta, which kind of sucks, which actually, funny enough, I don't think we... We'll see how that goes, because they really circular pretty recently, the new Math Mech card. I'm not playing with that, though. I'm playing with Windups. <laughs> Because they got the Windups and Matey at 3 now, baby. So I'm going to be going in with Windups, the All Gas Edition. If you don't know what Windups are, they're basically a rank 3 engine. You summon rank 3, you get Zen Matey, you get more 3s, you go Zen Matey, you get more rank up 3s, you go Zen Matey, and eventually your opponent just kind of gives up and doesn't want to see you play anymore. So that's going to be today's video. Let's go. Oh no, retry that. <laughs> Uh, this deck does not is not built to go second. I have to hope that, and I have to hope and pray that my opponent does not uh, set up an amazing board, and I can break it. Um, you really want to go first with this deck, <laughs> and then you also have to really want to hope that your opponent is not running. Um, your opponent does not max C you because if they max C you, then it's over. That's why you can have three of these in Master Duel, and it doesn't matter because uh, for the most part. Uh, my, my boy got. Let's find out. I'm almost positive. This man has. If we're got get hit the rabbit, hit the rabbit, hit the rabbit. Yeah, he has max A, so we're gonna have to stop cooking. Okay, that's fine. Wind up, rat goes. Terrible choice. We're gonna have to give him two cards. Nothing we can do about that. We're ending our turn. I'm gonna have- to, this is the only board that I could potentially make. Is DPE pass. So... Let's see what he does with two cards! I could have summoned uh, Despair, but there was no reason. Alright, so if he's going a second deck, he's definitely about to Kaiju my DPE. And if that happens, I'll just give up and we'll go on to the next game. Because <laughs> uh, there's really no winning from this position. Uh, most going second decks. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right, we can give up now. Pretty sure this was Numeron, but let's see. There's no point in continuing on in playing the game. So yeah, like I said, Zenmady absolutely loses to Maxi. No, it wasn't. It was. What the fuck was this deck? I could have beaten this. No, I couldn't have beaten this deck. This was yeah. This was a 100% OTK going second deck. Next game. Uh, yeah, so if you're specifically playing against Maxi, then you just lose. <laughs> I can handle a kaiju. I can't handle spear mode. Spear mode is the one that actually completely destroys me. I can probably handle Lava Golem with the right board, but it really kind of depends. Um, because the deck is 100% all gas, there's no way to stop their Maxi or anything else that they want to use. <laughs> Did I really draw into Fusion Destiny again? And he really... Okay, this guy once again has... Maxi. Doesn't have Maxi. Okay. We're gonna start cooking now. Let's go. Summon the shark. Probably didn't need to summon the shark, but it's fine. Uh, and now we start just like cooking like crazy and hope that he doesn't Nibiru me. If he doesn't Nibiru me, it's fine. We have Fusion Destiny. <laughs> And the thoughts and we have our thoughts and our prayers but if I'm correct here he's just gonna eventually give up because he realizes that oh no this guy's not gonna stop summoning he's just not gonna stop summoning and he's right I'm not gonna stop summoning uh, one more time real good job on master duel for letting this come back to three if they one doesn't have maxi then I'm pretty sure I'm good. I don't see myself losing anytime soon. Uh, hey, look, it's the third wind-up rat. I could go wind-up shark, but I'm gonna go with the third wind-up rat. Alright, and now... We'll go here. Give him a little razzle-dazzle. Go here. Go here. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, we don't have any more random rats in the deck. 
so we can we can no longer go into crazy wind up rat uh, turbo. But it's fine, because we'll just go wind up rat one last time to get wind up rat. And then we will. Zen matey one more time. Yay. Yay, Zen matey, everyone's favorite. And then we will use Zen matey's effect. Get rid of that. Summon up you. Yay. And now what we can do is that we will go into the Bahamut Shark. Yep. And now we go into Toad. Now, unfortunately, we did run out of gas. And that was probably because me not 100% thinking things through. Having an IP Masquerina probably would have helped right here, but... Or having another card in here that was not Dasher. Dasher was kind of a bummer here. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. This is what we'll do. There we go. If we had any other card in here, I could have made Appaloza as well. But there we go. This is a perfectly acceptable board. Let's see what uh, Umeko here has to stop us. I hope he actually does break this board. This is not the craziest board in the world, actually. We could have gone so much harder, but we needed to have two more level threes in the hand and we would have been able to kind of make some more business happen mm. and I'm also not the best expert on this there are people who are much better than me who can probably build you a better uh, Zen matey deck but I'm not one of them let's see what does this guy do you can discard this card draw two cards sure I'll negate that I realize I can't actually put him on my field, but it's fine. He has four cards. You got it. <sighs> I'm saving Toad Negate because if he has evenly matched, then I lose. <laughs> Trade in. Uh, again, if he has evenly matched, I just kind of lose. Uh, I can't let him draw. I'll take that. Yoink. There we go. Set it on my side of the field. Activate his effects. I get to have Wind Up Shark back in my hand. And actually, because Zen Mady's surviving a turn, I can continue summoning with Crazy Gas on my next turn. Oh my god, this deck is so insane. That's fine. He can probably summon something. He's probably going to summon the Fusion spell or something. Branded Fusion, maybe? That would make the most sense to me. But I'll be able to just kind of destroy whatever he's got summoning. Ooh. Sure. I have to be kind of careful too, though. If he special summons something that's actually going to be hard for me to get rid of, it's going to be kind of annoying. But we'll see what he summons here. Dramaturge? Yeah, that's not that's not anything for me right now. I will simply destroy you now. Because the okay, current you can special you can one falling about us from your deck. Uh no, I'm fine for now, I guess. I have to be careful because there is actually a way for him to OTK me if I'm not careful. Okay, now I have to actually do something. I have to get rid of uh, my shark. Because he'll be in attack mode. Uh, there we go. I should have probably gotten rid of DP now that I think about it, because he could still fusion summon. Yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck. 
All right. I think I lose this one. I think he actually legitimately was able to break my board. Because he's just going to attack into Utopic Future and I lose. But we'll see. He still has one card in hand that he can get rid of. But as long as my Zen Mady survives, I think I'm fine. Huh? Is he gonna be able to summon? Oh, he can't. where is where's Albaz? Oh no, there's Eluber. He was removed. Oh damn, Draglubion! Fuck, completely forgot about him. That's why I was trying to get rid of him, but damn, putting him in attack mode has been the end of my hubris. All right, this is over. I can see when it's over. We'll try again. <laughs> like I said, not unbeatable. But definitely, uh, that was very well played on his end. He was able to get rid of everything. That's why I was like so hesitant on using the Toad. But uh, definitely Branded and Despia, or just Despia in general, has enough gas to actually stop you. All right, let's go. He definitely had it. And that's the thing is that I did not have anything. I should have put him in the fence. But so very rarely do I ever need him in anything but... But that's uh, that's my bad. That's what I get for not fully doing things. If you control monsters, you can special this card for your hand. Use his effect. Get me a top katon board. Use top katon board's effect. Summon you. Summon you. And then we will. Uh, that's right. He's not level three, so I don't get to summon him. But it's fine. I should do this now. There we go. Uh, again, I'm setting myself up with, for the sickest Nibiru if he has it. Mm, I should really think about adding in IP Mascarina, because IP would have definitely been another interaction for me in that instance that it would have been able for me to win. Uh, let's see. I should be able to get... Yeah, I think if I get the rat, I should be fine. Then I activate his effect. I can get the shark. Put it in defense. Uh, then I will go here. And I'll go here for now. Because I need the space, actually. <laughs> get rid of him. Summon up the rat. There we go. Next. We'll go here. Boom, boom. I know I what I literally just said, but... What are the chances of that happening again? <laughs> I like to live dangerously on the edge. So next we'll go here. This will allow us to add another shark to the hand. There we go. Add shark. Now again, as I've mentioned before, none of the effects of the wind-ups are once per turn. So I can summon him, get him, go here, keep on going, keep on summoning, never stop stopping. Uh, and then I can go from here. Funny enough, I can just go Underworld Goddess, but I think what I'll do is... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go here. Have I Normal Summoned? Yes, I have. I have Normal Summoned this turn. Now I'm just trying to remember if I Normal Summoned or not. That's where we're at right now with these wind-ups. I'll go here, get rid of the rat, summon onto the field, shark, and then from here, go shark, go Bahamut, then from Bahamut, go, get rid of one of these, goodbye, go toad, 
It still freezes up for our regular stuff. So now we can go... We can't... Did I forget to put Appaloosa in here? Damn, I forgot to put Appaloosa in here. That's very unfortunate. Uh, it's fine. We will then go Verte. Uh... I want to keep this just in case, so we'll go here. On the off chance that this Zen Mady survives, I will use his effect. But for now, I think this works out. There we go. I can't believe I forgot to put Appaloosa in this deck. I thought she was in it already, but maybe I was thinking of my other one, my older one. Well, that's a big mistake on my part. I will add her before we go into the next game. Because, yeah, that would have been a lot of stuff for them to deal with on this turn that I don't think they would have been able to. Hmm. And if something does happen, then we're fine. Drytron! Hmm. We're good for now. We have to wait. Drytron is very annoying. That's fine. If he tries to use his ritual card, then I can steal with Toad. If there's anyone that hates being negated more than anyone else, it's definitely Drytron. So, let's go in here. Mm, dum -dum 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 -dum. Go ahead. Keep on going. Keep on moving. Uh, okay, for this one I will take. So, get rid of that. Yeah, I can't let him activate this. So I'll just take that. Thank you. I know you can still do stuff. So you can just keep on doing your moves. See, if I had Apoloza, this would be really helpful right now. Uh, from your deck to your graveyard. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to be really screwed over by this. If I had Apoloza, that would be enough, but Drytron didn't just keep on summoning and summoning. I know there's a point where you can stop them, but I also never actually learned how to stop Drytron, because I just kind of gave up at a certain point. But if I stop, yeah, there we go. This should be enough. Unless he has, um, Called by the Grave, which would be really funny. Uh, nope. Take that. No, 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 mine. Mine. You're not getting that back. Optional effect. Get back Shark. <laughs> and there goes Drytron. Okay. That would have been less of a crazy uh, game if I had Apoloza in the deck. If I had remembered. Who did I? Who did I? Okay, I need to get rid of someone. Uh, I think I'll have to get rid of Nightmare Phoenix, and I think I'll get rid of one other card. Uh, actually, yeah. I kind of like Abyss Dweller, but I don't think I've made Abyss Dweller yet, so. I'm gonna have to go with Underworld Goddess. I like the idea of Underworld Goddess, but I don't think I ever actually use her, so I'll go there. There we go. Save it up, and then we'll have one more game. And then we'll go in. Yeah, wind-ups. Like I said, they're not unbeatable. Uh, they can definitely be beaten. Them having their main XZ monster, the three, makes them actually playable. Uh, it's up to you to decide whether or not a field of negates that are not related to the wind-ups is good enough for you. <laughs> I can't control what you do, man. At a certain point in Yu-Gi-Oh, you play the cards that you try and play and screw everyone else. Okay. So I'm going to... Special Summon Gillosaurus. Effect? Nothing. I really want to summon Wind Up Magician. So I'm going to summon Wind Up Magician. So then let me summon my boy, Wind Up Shark. And then I'll use this effect. So let me summon from the deck Wind Up Rat. And then I can start cooking a little bit. Go here, go here, actually, go here first. 
There we go. Go here. This is wind up Zamati. Like I said, none of these cards are once per turn effects. So I'm gonna get back my shark. So there we go. So that now, when I go here, it'll be perfect. And also, I have to be very careful because I have a feeling it hasn't happened in a while. But I am setting myself up for a very sick Nibiru play. Thankfully, I'm in gold, and no one really plays Nibiru in gold. I play Nibiru in gold, but that's because I'm part of the problem and not part of the solution. All right, here we go. Activate my boy rat. Uh, get back from there. Another rat. I could get shark, but it's okay. I really should be also using Wind Up Magician just a little bit more, but I think I'm fine. Actually, let me try and do that on this turn. Get rid of that. Summon up Wind Up Magician. Now, I'm going to go here. Yeah. If anything, I should save a Zen Matey for the next turn. If there is a single next turn. We'll go here for now. Perfect. Now we will use Zen Matey's effect. And I will choose to banish you. We'll get to summon from the deck you. And then we'll get to use his effect. And then we get to special summon. There we go. Now if I use his effect, I should be able actually to summon another uh, decrease. There we go. Multiple lines here of what of things I can do, potentially. And then I'll go here, and then I will go Zen Matey. Uh, this is very sad. Unfortunately, I did cut myself off from the uh, from the play, which featured being able to uh, get rid of that. Here we go. Summon the last rat. All right, next. Let's see, I think next would be, we could definitely make Abyss Dweller, and that would be good for now. That will prevent him from using the graveyard. There we go. Go there. Now we use Wind Up Rat's effect. And we can summon from... Yeah, we'll go here. Because there's literally no more Wind Ups in the deck that I can use the effect of. And next we will go, I think, Apoloza. Yes. Four... No, it can't be four material, but there we go. Yep. Yep, and now we will... Activate. It's fine. Let's me summon from the deck, uh... No. There we go. And he bet at this point he's wondering, what could you possibly still have? What is this stupid deck doing, and why has it not stopped yet? The answer is, I have Verte Anaconda. And now I will summon DP. And now, we pass. After I turn this on, and yet, yeah, nope. As soon as it's his turn, activate Abyss Dweller. There we go. Get rid of that. And he's done! <laughs> yeah, that is, yeah, that's the wind-ups. What, what was he playing? I'm actually kind of curious now. What was he, exactly was he playing? Uh <laughs> Oh he would have all oh, that Abyss Dweller completely killed his deck. Oh you hate to see it. That's hilarious though. A 60 card grass looks greener. And he's like, whatever, I can do fine, and then Abyss Dweller that's game. There was nothing he could do. Alright everyone. That's it for the video. Zen Mady's at three. Some people are saying it's a mistake. Um 
as I can, I think I showed it here. It certainly is <laughs> in some respects. There are certain decks that can completely destroy it, though. Like obviously, a singular maxi stops Zenmady from really doing anything and stops the deck itself. Um, you saw with that branded Despia player. He wasn't even playing brand. And yeah, he was playing branded. He was playing. Was it? It was like the weird version. It was like the old version that people used to play. The OTK one. Um, let me see. Could you even call this branded? No, it's just Despia Dark Lord. Which, yes, Bre Despia Dark Lord, even with me making a singular mistake, that's all it was needed. He just needed to find the right out, and he was able to play out through everything. Um, and against these other two decks, they didn't even try, because, well, he tried. Drytron definitely tried. But once I took everything from them, there was nothing they could do. Like I said, there's no one that hates being negated more than Drytron. Drytron, their entire Appar oh, the entire function is summoning Herald of Ultimateness and just winning. And if you can just stop them from doing that, they will stop playing the game because that's the only play that they know how to do. Um, and this guy, yeah, that Abyss Dweller completely screwed him over. Honestly, he could have probably... Um, if it wasn't for Abyss Dweller, if I had gone into Toad instead of that way, he would have probably ended up having a chance. But uh, this deck can definitely... Just because of how much it has, but he just wasn't able to because of what I did. But there you go. Send me the three, man. I like wind-ups. They're very much a gas, 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 gas deck. <laughs> but sometimes I just want to summon and then just, yo, I don't think my opponent can break this board. It really becomes a, a thing of like, can you break this board? All right, then you deserve this win. Good day. And if they can't break the board, then they can't break the board and you win. Easy, easy clap. And that's the end of the video, everyone. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Goodbye.